And I'm going to teach you a little bit how to play blues. And we like to make the blues as simple as possible, so we're going to just use the three chords we know, C, F, and G7. So it's a 12 bar blues, which means there's 12 measures. And the first four measures are C. Right. And so just to make it simple, we'll play four beats per bar all down. So let's play all the downs. first okay. four measures of the blues. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Stop. Now we're on the second four measures. We'll have two measures of F and two measures of C. So here we go. Ready? Play. One, two, three, four, two, back to C. Four, two, three, four. Now we're on the last four measures of the 12 measures, so we're going to do a G7, then an F, and two Cs. Ready? Go. G7, F, C. Excellent. And then you start over and you do it until you get tired of doing it. <laughs> Sorry, or until the cat falls off. <laughs> right, something like that. Now, obviously, that's a pretty boring strumming pattern, so to make it sound more bluesy, I tend to do strum three. But to make it even more interesting, you can do this. Down, down, down. two and four of each measure the strong beats so when I do the down I sometimes don't even I sometimes just hit the string it's perfect so there are some words because it's well we'll get to that in a sec let's learn about the blues scale because for improvisation what I want to show is that Rebecca will play the chord pattern of the blues and I'm going to make up a solo and you can do this at home. It's really fun. What you do is you put your first finger in the third fret. This is called the third position. If I'm here, I'm in the first position, second position, third position. And I'm going to play one. I'm going to put my first finger in the third fret. And I'm going to play three, five, six. But I'm going to use fingers one, three, and four. So I go. Can you do that? And because I'm playing a melody, I use my thumb for that. I don't I try I don't try to strum, but I use my thumb to play melodies. And then to make it a little more interesting, I can also do blues scale on the second string. Oh cool. So if you play the whole scale it's Obviously, this is not harm, not that interesting rhythmically. But Rebecca, would you play the blue the chords, and I will just play that scale. Well, just C chord or the twelve bars. Just play the first four measures, because okay. people are always surprised by how cool it really sounds when nope. you just okay. just even this one, two, a one, two, three, four. So now that we've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to sing this song that I composed called Lonely Blues. And what I'm, we're going to do is sing the first verse of it, then I'm going to take a solo while Rebecca plays the uh, chords of the blues, and we're going to switch. And she's going to take the solo oh, God. while I take the chords of the blues, <laughs> oh, no. okay. and then we're going to sing out of it the last chorus. So here we go. And our first note, we play a C chord, but our first note's an E flat because it makes it a blues note. All right, so here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Blue one, two, three, four. Blue one, two, three, four. 